<laughs> you ready for this? Team? Yes, I am ready. Welcome back to Brickmania TV. Yes, there we go. <laughs> what was that? We're <laughs> a thing. You can't bring the guns out. No. Nope. Oh, here we go. Brickmania TV. All right, Dan. Episode 74 of 500. Yes. This season. Okay, cool. We got the Opal Blitz. Yes, we are finally, yes, we're yeah. back with, a, with another episode of Brickmania TV. Talking about the Opal Blitz is one of the most requested models that ever at Brickmania. Ever. And, and because I'm stubborn and, and want to see people squirm, I've never actually released one. Um, now the truth is, is that there's a lot of other cool Opal Blitzes in the world and I didn't want to like, you know, come across seem like we're copying everybody. Sure. So. Finally broke down and did it. All right. So we did some cool things. So the Opal Blitz is, the, is this is like the the German equivalent of our deuce and a half, yep. with the exception is it can't hold as much, and they only made like one of these for every like a thousand uh, deuce and a halfs that were produced. I don't know that that might be an exaggeration. Sure. They didn't make many of these. Right. Ger German didn't. They did the German military uh, uh, World War II didn't put a whole lot of uh, effort into making a lot of uh, support vehicles. Sure. Uh, until it was too late. So, but right. this was their chief. But it functioned in a similar fashion. Yeah, yeah. This this was their, this was this was like the equivalent of our trucks. Right. Um, they didn't make that many. They were actually commercial trucks converted to military use. So it's Opal Blitz, as you can see right there on the on the grill. Except we call it the the Ogle. Yeah, Ogle. What is Ogle spelled backwards? <laughs> <laughs> figure it out. You figure it it's out. A, it's an Easter egg there. Yeah, yeah. Inside joke, yeah. sort of not. Kind of. Um, that was Not the bad funny. guy from the Alpha team. Yeah, but it's Lego spelled backwards. Anyway, so there's our, our, our funny <laughs> thing. So this has some cool features. It does have the opening doors. Um, you can take the roof off pretty easily, put a guy in it. Does not come with this minifig, but I have one out here just, just to show you how easy it is to get a guy in and out. Um, fits right in there. Doors, of course, are open and close. Uh, also has these pretty sweet printed tiles. We have, the, of course, the o Ogle Blitz. Uh, it has a license plate. It was our first, uh, our first license plate, of course, uh, with my initials on it, because right. I'm an egotistical maniac. Um, <laughs> and it has these printed headlight covers. Also comes with a insignia uh, tile on each yep. one of the doors. So, and you have the convoy identification. We're assuming it's a convoy identification. Uh, it wasn't there. Don't know for sure, uh, and didn't ask. Um, it also has a tailgate that goes down. And the side gates will go down. Of course, when you have this extension on the, the, the side gates, it won't go down all the way. Um, you will see that they've made anti-aircraft versions of these. They actually take these, uh, these, these side panels off. Yeah. Um, and of course, you can do that here. You can, you can stick your uh, FLAC 38 on yep. here. Um, Perfect. Sold separately, of course. Yeah. <laughs> so, but yeah, this is, this is great. This is going to be something that we'll have uh, many, many iterations from, from now until we stop making Brickmania kits. Thank you very much for watching Brickmania TV. Yeah. Thank you. Found it. No? Yes. So this is the normal configuration. That's the happy German truck. So this is a late war German version, and you can tell because it's angry. And here's the post-war version. Oh. <laughs> oh. 